so we're here we have a normal distribution curve and we know that the mean is in the center so when it asks for your mean it will always be that middle number and then each um, movement to the right or the left is one standard deviation away so if it wants to find the standard deviation we're just going to find the distance between any of those sections or you can just go from the mean to the first um, spot to the right so you're going to do 65 minus 59 which will give you six and if you notice here it's a difference of six to each number to the right and to the left so you could subtract six each time if you're going to the left so that's your mean and your standard deviation part c asks us um, about the empirical rule which is the 68 percent 95 percent or 99 99.7 percent and the, what that means is let me clear this off so we're starting fresh what the 68% means is that 68% of your data value falls within one standard deviation of your mean. So if you go out one standard deviation to the left and the right, that means that 68% of your data set falls within that. If you go out one more, so you're two standard deviations away, so all of this would be 95% of your data. And if you go out three standard deviations to 41 and 77, that's gonna be 99.7% of your data. And that's what the empirical rule means. So here, if it's asking me what falls between 59 and 65, that's these two values. That's going to be half. Let me erase again. That's going to be between 59 and 65. That's going to be half of the 68%. So this would be 34% falls within the range of 59 and 65. And you could do that if it said from 59 to 71, then that would be half of the 95%. So there's a bunch of different questions you could ask just using the empirical rule. Now, the last part, it says what corresponds to a z-score of negative 2. Well, a z-score is how many standard deviations you are from the mean. And so... If I'm doing negative two, that means I'm going to the left two standard deviations. So starting here at the mean, I'm going to go to the left two, and that would leave me at a, Z, uh, at a value of 47. So the negative means you're going to the left, and then you just count how many standard deviations you are going to the, that direction.